Watch out. It's Tommy too. I'm back. I know I'm Frankie G. But Frankie G has got himself an EG, which is pretty clean in all aspects. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, Frankie, give us a quick walk around oh, before we uh, service this puppy. Uh, nice EG. Civic 93. And uh, it's got 330,000 Ks on it. Genuine. Fucking just raising it in. Genuine cliggers. Yeah, mate. It's got some pretty clean interior. Damn. It's got shit everywhere. Yeah. Has some cool speed holes. Honestly, pretty straight. Frank's got RE003s on it with some reasonable tread, which is quite nice, quite tasty. I still got rear drums, but we'll deal with that later. So, Frankie G is still rocking the classic, classic, well renowned single jingle D15. So, Frankie just needs a service, he just bought the car. Obviously, his brake fluid's at the optimum, just above minimum level. Clutch fluid's pretty shag too. They're both full of water, which is nice. So we're just gonna clean that stuff up. Uh, just make that all work. So, we're smashing through it. It's like, no, like five degrees, something stupid. Well, it's pretty cold. So we've got her up on jack stands, ready to rock and roll. That fluid is very, very gross. There's also, not a great deal in here. Ugh. She's dark and gross, boys. Dark and gross. So we can top this up, we're about to bleed the brakes. Uh, yeah. Okay, that. Let's top this puppy up. Get it done, boys. How do you feel about owning AG, Frankie? How do you feel about it? I'm feeling pretty good, eh? I mean, it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's been an experience already. I mean, I haven't got to actually redline it yet, so a bit worried about that. <laughs> haven't, <laughs> haven't been able to tug. Not to yet. Goose. We'll get there. Ready? Yep. Down. Yep. Up. Yep. Down. Down. Yeah. So for those of you that obviously don't know what's happening, uh, I crack off this bleed nipple as Frank pushes down. So what happens is when you push down on the brake pedal, all the fluid obviously disperses to the brakes through the prop valve or portion valve. So evenly, I think Honda's like 60-40 or 70-30 on most of them. Um, I'm not 100% on the figures, but I'll look that up one day. Um, so when I crack that nipple, I say down, Frank pushes the brake pedal to the floor, fluid comes out. I lock the brake nipple back, so close it and say up. Frank lifts the brake pedal. That way no air goes back and you don't get any air trapped in the system. So when you brake, shouldn't fail. Should be all brand new fluid. Living the dream, life's good. Um, yeah. That's what we're doing. We're going to continue to do that. We'll do all the brakes. You don't want to see four of those. You don't want to see the hours of that brake. So we'll uh, be back in a minute, aren't you, Frank G? Yeah. Thank you, What do we do? We'll bang the brake. They are all combined. Lead and everything. All bled for now. Yeah. Give us some pedal. Give us some pump. What's it feel like? Mm -hmm. Damn. We're stopping, boys. She's firm, boy. Yeah. No car crash. So we just topped up the clutch master. Uh, you guys can't really see it, but there's like sediment and crap just sort of floating in there now. Where the old fluid's just had it, it has moisture and stuff in it. So we've hooked up the line. Got a spanner prepped on the uh, slave. We're going to bleed the clutch. Same process, down up, down up. I'll save your time. We'll do it and uh, we'll see you in a sec. Clutch works. The brakes work. We still need to grease the slides and stuff, but that's okay. We can sort it out later and check all the pads and stuff. We're gonna drop the oil. Frankie's gonna change the air filter. Now, what's the last thing we're doing today, Frankie? 
Spark. Yeah, boy. Good old spark, spark plugs. plugs. Uh, I'm going to fill up your wash bottle too. So you can uh, wash windows and stuff. On the road. Cool stuff. Oh yeah. Alright, uh, I'll get the oil. You get the air filter, then we'll do spark plugs. Frank, Tell us the story of your pulsar, Frank. Well, for those of you at home, Frank had a pulsar. Well, I had tell no, us the story, I had no UCR first. Yeah, tell us the story of the car history, Frank. Give us a quick history lesson, yeah? Before I even bought my license, I bought uh, a gold A UCR in 2002 with uh, 300,000 on it because I was young and stupid. Uh, bought it for three grand. Yeah. Um, it was real clean when I first bought it, but I uh, ended up getting a heap of problems with it, and I fixed it up and had it real nice. But uh, then my timing went, and I bought the kit, but there was just too much stuff about at the time, so I decided not to do it, and I left it in the front yard for spare parts because I bought another one. And I bought a 2001 Gold AU with a, a little bit over 200,000 on it. For two seven fifty, because we split it halfway for the cost of the window tint that we fixed on, and then I wrote that one off. Don't know why, maybe the curb. <coughs> then I had to buy a Nissan Pulsar because that's the first thing I could find in my price range at the time, and it was a good car. I kept up with the boys in it. Did a few tugs. And then I just thrashed it too much and killed it. Huh? How'd you kill it? I was doing a pizza delivery. <laughs> what happened, Frank? Oh, it's all just, just, just driving down the highway, doing 80. <laughs> I wasn't even thrashing it this day either. And yeah, she didn't like it much. Well, what happened then, Frank? Um, I pulled over because I'd seen a heap of smoke coming out of the exhaust. I thought I was doing a burnout. And um, yeah, so I quickly called Dad and I was like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, like, what's going on here? And he's like, oh, probably just blowing two cylinders. Blowing cylinder or something? I was like, alright. I'm like, Sh should it be alright to finish my delivery and drive home? He said, yeah, alright, should be able to. And um, I made it to the delivery, man, didn't realise I was spitting oil everywhere out my exhaust and covered this chick's car in oil because I had to rev it to keep it idling. And yeah, I had a red line at one stage and just covered a car in oil. So, sorry about the paint job. Not really. I don't really care. It wasn't my car. No, but sorry. And yeah, then I called uh, the scrap yard to come get it and got 350 for it. So, Bought it for 750, got 350. Not too bad. Oh, it's just on the shelf for a bit. Oh, got a few cracks now, I should have got. But not too bad. No, I bet Alright, Frankie G. I'm gonna try something. Yeah. I'm gonna try the Jimmy O's, no fun. No final game. Yeah, straight in. Straight in. <laughs> straight in. I believe you can do it. Oh, I'm not so confident. Oh. 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 No funnel gang boys. No funnel gang. Jimmy Oaks, shout out. If you're wondering, it literally is as basic as filling things up without a funnel. <coughs> like the cordial body. Man, this is way better than Liberty. Oh, Evelyn, you've been called out. Please respond in the comments <laughs> below. <laughs> you got anything else you want to say, Frank? You just turn the camera to yourself and you know, calling on us out, mate. Or are you done? <laughs> Wait, Paddy, I'm not smoking your EK too. <laughs> yeah, Paddy, you're just smoking your EK. You've been called out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to smoke him because he doesn't have a license. Oh. <laughs> Space the camera yourself. I'm sure this Show the viewers at home how you're really feeling, Frank. Right? <laughs> I'm feeling quite tough myself, eh? <laughs> you can just do.
No skids, because you're going to be a smart, responsible young adult, I would say. <laughs> sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, Frank? Don't know that, am I? Not physically, you goose. Oh, yeah, it's time for the sparks, mate. Time for the sparks. Wait, I wonder how buggered these bad boys are. I mean, that came out. That's a good start. Hell yeah. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh, that was a bit tight. Not too bad. Yeah, put that way, boy. <laughs> what do you reckon? What do you reckon to the weather, Frank? I mean, it's a bit cold. It's pretty freaking cold. Still in my work uniform, so I've gone out. Sheesh. Not too bad. But. It's time to change them. Oh man, they've been getting too hot. Damn. At least there's no oil in there, dude. Like, Hell yeah. Definitely was expecting to need a rocket cover. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Anti seize. Anti seize. So, what have we done, Frank? We tracked it down. We tracked it down. She's yeah. on the ground. About to talk the wheels to 100 newton meters. Uh, all four wheels are back on. Habib's on his way home, so he's going to give us anti seize because this is an alloy head, aluminium head, I think. Um, and those are a bit more steel. I always put anti seize on the spark plugs just so the two metals don't fuse together. That'll keep them sweet, should always be able to get them out. Um, <coughs> yeah, we're going to talk all the wheels on. All the brakes are bled, clutch is bled. Old mate did the oil filter, uh, air filter, I did the oil and oil filter. We check the oil level, put some fluid in the washer, coolant levels are alright, and we're going to call it today, and then we'll do the rest of it later, because it's like, I don't know, 25. So we're back. Car's on the ground. Habib. Has returned. So, what have you given us? Again? What are you giving us? The last part of the puzzle. Anti seize. Anti seize lubricant. Lubricant. Oh. How is it? <laughs> 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 Alright, so you really don't need that much, but like. That blob came out, so now here we are. Should be right. I could probably do like two or three. I could probably do all four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, hold that. <laughs> I need a new spark light. <laughs> my, my freaking hand. Can't hold that one. There's a cloth there. We don't so want to waste. What you do with your stuff here because it's not your joint. Yeet! <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts to Honda owners for not usually maintaining their cars. Actually, just general car owners, really. Did you show them the rims on the car? The wheels? Yeah. The tyres that cost more than the car. We're not on brand new, They're not brand new. They have two. Don't over tighten them, boy. They're not over tight, mate. You do. Two Argus Duggers. Two Argus Duggers. No, two, two Argus, three Duggers. Only two. Two Argus, three Duggers. Once they're tightened by hand. Always done by hand, boys. Yeah. <laughs> That's close too. Also, show her what's behind him, Frank. Give him a geezer. Good old engine. Engine crane. I'm prepped, boy. I'm prepped. I'll pick that up just for you today. Thank you. Took us like an hour or so. To get it? Yeah. Because we, we had a mean chat. Yeah. Mean chats. Oh, I was a doubt. Oh, we also drove it here. Well, no. technically it's Swartz's, so okay. shout out to Daniel Swartz. You don't Thanks, know that Swartz. I'm using that. But Thanks, mate. This, you're, this, you're crane, a this crane's done more Honda engines than, you know. It's pretty much almost a communal crane at this point. I, I don't think I know anyone pretty much except Frank and Paddy who haven't used it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just stupid. But shout outs to you, Swartz. Alright, so we're done for today. That's the general maintenance on Frank's car. Make sure these are all back on tight. Call the job done, but uh, yeah.
Yeah, good Frankie. Yeah, tidy man. Frank just technically bought his first car without really owing anyone money, so. You're killing it, Frank. You're making the dream happen. Finally. Alright. Like. Alright. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. See ya. Oh, yeah, boys. Give it a canto, Frankie. Give it one.